Hello everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News. It is Saturday, November 2nd, 2024. And we have a statement from Pentagon Press Secretary Major General Pat Ryder on Middle East Force Posture Updates. Changes and bolstering, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, should cause us concern. But anyway, let's get right to it. In keeping with our commitments to the protection of U.S. citizens and forces in the Middle East, the defense of Israel, and de-escalation through deterrence and diplomacy, the Secretary of Defense ordered the deployment of additional ballistic missile defense destroyers, fighter squadron and tanker aircraft, and several U.S. Air Force B-52 long-range strike bombers to the region. These forces will begin to arrive in coming months as the U.S. Abraham Lincoln Strike Carrier Group prepares to depart. So we have the Abraham Lincoln getting ready to leave the area, and we have all of this aircraft, including B-52s, moving into the area again as a deterrence, as defense of Israel. It's part of a de-escalation process, but to me it sounds more like an escalation. And <clears throat> if I was to guess, I would say that this would be moving quickly and be done probably faster than over the time of coming months. It might be coming weeks. Who knows? Be prepared for war, ladies and gentlemen. Be prepared for world war. World war that we've been expecting to come now for how many months or years? World War Three, you could call it. Keeping in mind that that war is already being fought mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and psychologically. Uh, through cyber means, through financial means, through cultural means, and quite honestly and simply stated, it is all demonic. But here we go. This could be a potentially big move, and we will keep our eyes on this, and we will keep our eyes on Election Day coming Tuesday. What kind of shenanigans will be staged, ladies and gentlemen, what kind of uh, trouble are we are we headed toward here? You know that this process, you just sense it, that on Wednesday of next week, there's going to be screams for recounts and, and accusations of, of ballots being stolen and ballots lost in the mail and all of this. Just simply stated, be prepared for chaos next week, ladies and gentlemen, and chaos throughout the world in the coming weeks. But we will not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And please, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, not ladies and gentlemen, please, ladies and gentlemen, if you would ever so kindly Check out my latest fiction book release, Airwaves, a wayfarer story. It is gritty, edgy, dystopian end times fiction uh, centered around your pirate radio, AM63, and the all world order's efforts to take down that radio station, all pirate radio stations on the AM band, and the IW2, the new internet, to rival the all web which, if you use your imagination, you know what the all-web is. Lots of characters, lots of things going on, a very exciting read, and be looking for Airwaves 2, a Wayfarer story, hopefully being released this month. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've gone on long enough. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.